Now it's time to add the visual part to our story. Video is preferred. However, sometimes you might not have a video or you have very limited video and pictures are necessary. You saw the pictures on the website I was already using. I could use those and just use the same source under my sources. However, I think I can find better pictures because I want my pictures to help tell me the story or help tell my viewers the story. So I want to look for really icky, moldy food. The more colorful, the more fuzzy, the better. So I'm going to look for my own pictures because I can actually use this in this story because my story is uh, pretty general. So I am going to start by typing moldy food. And now a couple ways I can search. I can go to videos, which I already did. And when I watched some of these videos, it brought up text and instructions or advice. And I don't want all that as part of my video. So in my case, the pictures are going to work best for my story. So I instead am going to go to images. Now here's one thing you've got to do. You've got to take an extra step before you look at these because Google will bring up all the photos, usually starting with the smallest quality. And if you use a low quality image in our high def video, it's going to look terrible and you'll get marked down for video points. So what you're going to do before you even look at the pictures is go to tools, click on size, click on large. All right, and I'm just gonna take the first picture. So I have to click on it and that brings up a preview on the right. And in my preview, if I mouse over it at the bottom left, it tells me how big my picture is. Every picture that you use has to be at least 1,000 by 1,000. The bigger, the better. So in this case, mine is 3,900 by 2,600. So that's a huge picture. I can definitely use this. So if I want to use this, I need to right click on the big picture. Don't ever right click over here. That will give you a small thumbnail. Always right click on the big picture and save image as. And then what that's going to do is um, allow you to save it to your desktop. Now, I don't want all of this because I'm going to get confused trying to find whatever they originally named it. So I'm going to rename mine Mold1. Okay, and I'm not done. Now I need the source for this. So now I click on the picture. I'm going to copy just this, go back to my eval and go back to my VO where I was. Okay, so I'm gonna click in here and I'm going to paste and then hold down the Alt and hit Enter so I'm ready for my new link. Okay, now I go back to, I can get rid of this link now because I've already used it. So get rid of that and it takes me back to my pictures. So um, this one looks really good. I love this horrible moldy sandwich. The, the uglier the better because you want you want your audience to respond to your picture. So I'm doing a story on mold. That gives me perfect opportunity to find the grossest, most sickening pictures I can find that of course that are still appropriate because you want your audience to go, ooh, or ah, oh, I can't even look at that because now you've got them drawn into your story. So let's mouse over this. This is 1071 by 768. It is not a thousand on one side. So I cannot use it. So we're going to skip this. As great as it looks, it's not going to work. Um, this one looks pretty cool. I love this one. This is great color. Look at my size, 2500 by 1900. I can use this. So how do I save it? I right click, save image as, and I'm gonna rename this mold to, and save it. And I need the source. So I click on the picture. So it brings up my source in the website up here. And I'm gonna skip all the gray writing and I'm going to only highlight the website without all the HTTPs and, and Ws. So I'm going to right click on the highlighted, copy, come back to my eval and paste it in there. Hold down Alt Enter. Now if I keep the box open, I don't have to keep clicking in it. So as I'm doing my photos, I know I'm going to keep adding more. So now I come back to, um, I don't need this website. I already highlighted the website, get out of it and go back to my pictures. So let's scroll down and see what other nasty messes I can find. All right, these tomatoes look wonderful. Love that. Let's mouse over, but it's only 1280 by 720. It's not enough. So let's go to another one. 
This fruit looks amazing. Mouse over. 1900 by 1280. I can definitely use this. So again, I right click, uh, save image as. I'm going to rename it to mold three. I need the source, so I click on it. And click in the URL, click again so it unhighlights the whole thing, and only get what I need. So right click and copy back to my eval, paste that in there, hold down my alt button, hit enter. Okay, I don't need this site anymore, and it takes me back to my Google search. All right, let's see what other great stuff. I love those moldy strawberries. And let's mouse over it. Uh, 5100 by 3400, that's a great size. So I'm going to right click, save image as, and call this uh, mold four. And um, now click on it so I can get my website. And again, I only need the black part after the W's. So right click and copy. Go back to my eval, paste it in my sources. I need at least one more picture. You always need a minimum of five pictures. Alt, so alt enter. More is better. More is definitely better, but at least five. So I can close this out now. And so um, I would normally go a lot more because I really want to show all the moldy food I can. But for the sake of saving time in this lesson, I'm just going to Pick one more, but I want something I don't already have. Like I've already got um, tomatoes, bread, um, although this burger looks amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at all the great colors and the nasty crustiness and the fuzz. Who has a beautiful picture of mold? And it's 1400 by 1400. I definitely want this. In fact, that will probably be my starter picture. So I'm going to uh, save image as, and I'm still gonna call it mold five but I will probably put it as my top picture. And now I gotta get the source. So click in here, it highlights the whole thing, click again, and then that allows me just to get what I want. Right click, copy, go back to my eval and paste it, alt enter. Now I already have five pictures, but I, I, want, I also want moldy cheese, which I don't, didn't get. So since I didn't find that, I'm gonna go back to my search and type that specifically, moldy cheese. Um, again, I need to go, I wanna go to images and I have to reset my size under tools, size, large. And this looks like a great shot of moldy cheese. Mouse over it, 1280 by 720, not big enough. So I wanna find a really bad one. Like, that one's okay. And mouse, okay. Now, you cannot use um, watermarks. So you can see um, it's got a watermark with their name and logo. So you cannot use any pictures with watermarks. So this is off limits. So um, let's go to another one. Nope, that one's got watermarks. It's got words all across it. So we're going to skip that one. Let's try this one. No watermarks, 1200 by 900. Now, I really like this picture and 900 is really close to 1000. I have a thousand on the other side, so in this case, since I'm really close, I'm going to make the exception and I am going to save this image. And um, so I will call it mold six and save it. And then of course I need my source, so click on the picture, wait for it to load, click on it, highlights the whole URL, click it again, and just highlight the black words after W's and copy it and back to my source. Now I'm going to go to Wii Video and upload my pictures. So I will go to import, click browse, and bring in all my pictures, select them all, and open. And then I will start putting them in the order from best to least favorite. So I really love this sandwich. I think that is a great job of bringing in my viewers, so I will put that first and these default to five seconds so if you want them shorter or longer you'll have to extend that and then I'll put these great strawberries I really like that picture um, I've already got a fruit so I'm gonna save this let's go to the bread and this way I mix and diversify then I go to my cheese and um, back to my fruit 
and then uh, we'll put that last piece of fruit in here. All right, so now when I play it, it just automatically plays through all of my pictures. And now I'm ready to um, copy this link. So I'm, this is my edit. So I copy this, I go back to my eval, I go back to my eval tab. In this box, I paste my Wii Video link. And then as I told you, it will automatically put that link right here. So we've already got a record of it. And that's it. Now you're ready to submit it and share it to the producer for grade.